Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Gold with your daily analysis for Wednesday 28th of May, recording the video now 7.20pm Eastern Standard Time. I was expecting some downwards movement and the short term target I had for you was 1256. Price did move lower, it reached 1256.06 and after that it started to move sideways. I expect that the second wave correction that we were looking out for has turned up. I expect it will continue to take price a little bit higher and it should show up on the daily chart as a green candlestick. My target for it to end is 1273. When it's done, the next movement should be a nice strong third wave down. When the second wave is over, and I know where the third wave starts, I'll calculate a target for that one for you. It's not here yet though. At the daily chart level, I still expect it's most likely that gold is within a huge primary degree fourth wave correction and it's most likely unfolding as a double combination. Combinations are actually really common structures. There is another possibility for primary wave four. It could be a huge triangle and if this minimum requirement for the flat correction of intermediate wave Y is not met, I will consider the possibility that primary four is a huge triangle. With that in mind, this minimum requirement, if it's not met, that could be what's happening. This is a minimum requirement for a flat correction for intermediate wave Y and this minimum requirement assumes that primary wave 4 is a more common double combination. The first structure in the combination was a zigzag, it's labelled intermediate wave W and it ends off to the left of the chart. The second structure beginning here may therefore be a flat correction or possibly a triangle. A flat is a much more common structure than a triangle so that's what we'll expect to see for intermediate wave Y. A flat would subdivide 3, 3, 5 and the B wave within a flat must reach a minimum 90% the length of the A wave at 1201.98. And again if we don't see that minimum requirement met I'll consider the possibility that intermediate wave Y beginning here could be a triangle or that the entirety of primary 4 could be a huge triangle. Let's expect that the most common structure should unfold. That's usually what happens for gold. Minor wave B down, whether intermediate wave Y is a flat or a triangle, is still an incomplete zigzag, so we're still expecting more downwards movement anyway. At 1178, minute wave C would reach equality in length with minute wave A. I've drawn a channel around this downward zigzag for minor B from the start of A to the end of B on this candle right here, with a parallel copy on the end of A. I'll expect downward movement to find support and probably most likely end when downward movement comes to touch the lower edge of this channel. When minor wave B is done, we'll expect a 5 up for minor C, at that stage most likely to at least make a slight new high beyond the end of A to avoid a truncation and a rear running flat and most likely to take intermediate wave Y up to around about 1434 so that the whole combination moves price sideways. That's what combinations do. Primary 4 may not move into primary 1 price territory above 1532.90. There are two possible structures for minute wave C. It has to subdivide as a 5, so it may be either an ending diagonal or it could be an impulse. An impulse is more likely. An ending diagonal subdivides all its subwaves as zigzags. For an impulse, the first wave must be a 5. So, looking at the structure of the first wave down, which is probably now complete, looking to see is it a 3 or a 5 will tell us most likely what the C wave structure is going to be. Let's look at it on the hourly chart where it begins here, this point here. From this high to this low, this downward movement subdivides best as a 5 wave structure, so that indicates that minute wave C is most likely going to be the more common impulse and not an ending diagonal at this stage. So we have a 5 wave structure down from minuet wave 1, and I'm labelling it as over here, not down here where it reached the target, because this sideways movement clearly breaches a channel drawn around this downward movement. If minuet wave 1 is over here, there are nice ratios between 1, 3 and 5 within it and the subsequent movement breaching the channel confirms this wave is over, the next wave is underway. I do not think minuet wave 2 is over here, this is just wave A of it, 
because this downward movement subdivides so nicely on the 5 minute chart as a 535 zigzag. Also, if the second wave was over here, it would be remarkably shallow and brief. It's most likely going to take price higher. This B wave is over 170%, I think, correction of the A wave. So Minuet wave 2 is an expanded flat correction, subdividing 3, 3, and we need a complete 5 up. At 1273, subminuet wave C would reach 2.618, the length of subminuet wave A, and that would take the second wave correction up to the 0.382 Fibonacci ratio of the first wave at 1273.29. Minuet wave 2 may not move beyond the start of 1 above 1293.47, and I will expect, as I said at the daily chart level, to see this wave show up clearly is at least one green candle or possibly a doji on the daily chart. For gold within its minute degree waves, its second and fourth wave corrections for minuet degree do normally show up on the daily chart, so that's what we'll expect should happen here. When the second wave of correction is over, the next movement should be a strong third wave down, which should show a nice strong increase in downward momentum beyond that seen for the first wave. That's all for me for today with your gold analysis and I hope that all our members are having a fabulous day.